Hey, 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 it is Wall Crawl. We are back with our All Achievements All Night Guide. We just beat it, beat it, we beat it them. We just beat the uh, Mantis Lords. And now they're our buddies or something or however that works. They respect us. We respect them. There's mutual respect there. Um, all right. And we climb up here and now these things don't, don't fight us. They're like, you're great. We love you. And we go this way. And hop up when they slam the door on us in our face earlier. Now he doesn't. Instead, he bows and stuff. And so, yeah. Let's see how many more mantises we have to kill, which is super sad. But where are they? I think they're this direction. I think they're this direction. Mantis things. There they are. Two more. Uh, okay. Okay, so this guy, he's very nice, but he's gonna die. Alright, just one more, you guys. That, that's, that's all. Alright, and, um, you'll come on through, and you'll zigzag through their little area, and you'll get their rewards. So you hop up here. And you take that out, and you go, what is this? It's a hollow nest seal. Let me see, this is hollow nest seal number seven. So, we're getting us quite a collection of hollow nest seals. Man, I missed it. Then we'll come up here, and we'll pop this open and say, what is this? It's the Mark of Pride. And Mark of Pride's good. I don't know that it's worth its cost. It's, um, man, me and Spikes... It costs three charm notches. There are some times I definitely use it, but it it is for um, extending your nail even further than what long nail does. And you can equip both long nail and mark of pride, and that makes it super long. So here's a little bench. Sit on that. Relax. Update your map. And uh, all right, we're gonna head back to dirt mouth so we're gonna go yeah I'm so sorry I'll sit on a bench I'll make you come back there you go so now your hunter's journal is fulfilled and you don't have to worry about that anymore Ugh. come on I'm not gonna get, get out of this little area go up here instead all right, heading upward and through the big door. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go this way. Try to dodge that guy. Good. Don't have to kill him. Don't have to fight. They're my buddies. We're working our way back up. <laughs> You may be looking at certain things and going, but uh, aren't you going to go left or something? Aren't you going to go right? When, But uh, as, as I've done in other times, we'll have to come back later for certain things. So hopping up here, hopping up here. Okay, bouncing on up. And then we're going to go to the left. This probably isn't the fastest way to get back. But uh, you're just trying to make your way back to the... Um, back to the stag station, queen station. Bouncy, bouncy. There's, there's several ways to go. Man, I am definitely going... I, I don't want to go the long way anymore. So... I'm going to go back down where I was. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Kill you. Go left through here. And yeah, this this is the faster way for sure. Yeah. 
head upward and once you're up you'll go to the left and that gets you back to your queen station there's the corner for pages you'd think they're like blown away or rotted or something by now okay hey buddy no big deal coming this way down to the left, Queen Station, and it's time for a trip to Dirtmouth. I'm going to check in on Sly, see what he's doing. Dirtmouth, dirt, dirtmouth, going to Dirtmouth. It's going to be great, Dirtmouth. Yeah. All right, any new cool stuff? Into Sly's shop. Where'd he go? No. Descend? Sure. Ooh, what's down here? And now you get to come down here. It's the only time you get to come down here and check out Sly's basement or whatever it is. And there he is, like, I don't know, like just chilling in front of a huge sword. And you're like, hey, what are you doing? And he says another people can uh, join our group, and it turns out that Sly is actually a nail master. He's like the uh, like the teacher of the ones that taught you, and he gives you something called Nail Master's Glory. And I actually like this charm quite a lot. It um, it only costs one charm notch, and it'll it makes it to where your your charms like happen. Not your charms, your nail arts happen a whole lot faster. So this is the speed of it um, charging up without Nail Master's Glory. And then here's Nail Master's Glory right here. And this is the speed of it now. Significantly faster. And there are definitely times in the game when that's a better choice. So... In fact, um, right now, with what I've got, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on Nail Master's Glory and, uh, instead of having my Wayward Compass. Now, it's definitely feel free to run way Wayward Compass or whatever you want to run, actually, but this is my favorite charm um, uh, combination right now. Now, getting rid of Wayward Compass and Nail Master's Glory and doing Long Nail is also a pretty reasonable go. A lot of people are big fans of Long Nail. So, that is all we're worried about for Sly. Let's go check on the Grub Father. We've saved some more of his kids. And so, he might have some more little rewards. I like to check in, have him pay me. And I'm not saving his kids for nothing. Yeah. So, the collector, like, worked hard to get all his kids, so... Now I'm working hard to get them back. Look at them all. And their little cubby holes with their little eggs. And he's like, oh, it's you! It's time to pay the dude. Alright, each time I'm saving him, he kind of gives me more and more cash, so that's good. <laughs> Throws out something. The shiny, which are the funnest parts. And it's a rancid egg. So, that is definitely not the most amazing reward, but uh, you know what? Who cares? So, I sat on the bench up at Dirtmouth. Now we're going to go, and we're going to slide down this wall. Slide down the wall, and there's the way to Green Path. That's not where we're going. And we continue to slide down the wall until there's this little thing you can break away. Break it open, and we're hopping in here to where the lair of the brooding Moloch. Okay. Kill these little guys and keep going this direction. Feel free to gather up some soul if you need it. This looks super bad, but it's not too bad. You basically take a normal jump left and then normal jump right and you're through. So normal jump, normal jump, normal jump. And this one you just hop and fall right down the middle. So that's not as scary as it looks. It looks like there's spikes everywhere, but it's really not too bad. Now you come this way, you go like this, you fall down into this hole. This is funny to me. It At the bottom it says, hold, look down. Like it's 
in some part of the tutorial of telling you how to play the game. And it does. It shows you that you can go down and look so you don't fall into the spikes. But this is definitely not something you should be doing right off the bat in the game. So, I, I don't... I mean, you could. It's right here at the beginning. But um, I do not recommend taking on the Brooding Moloch this early in the game. Alright, so... I'm not going to get it, but there's some extra soul right there if you need it. You kind of just zigzag around. Don't step on that yet. You'll fall through. Get this little geo node. That's pretty much the only reason we did this little loop. We fall back down, and we've already been here. This is the thing where it says, look down. You hop down here, and then we're going to be going to the right. Now, we're about to engage the boss. This is uh, right here, and as soon as you can see the little guy glowing in the background, well, that's the Brooding Moloch, and you'll have to check out the next video to see how to deal with him, and you'll get a nice reward of a Mask Shard, so he's definitely worth, fi worth fighting, and you're, you're strong enough now to do it. So, check out my next video to see how. Give me a comment, give me a like, give me a subscribe. See you next time.